how to create a digital planner on canva hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own digital planner on canva so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know what a digital planner is it's basically just like the real planner but on a digital you know screen like a pdf you can organize your goals your daily task whatever just to keep your track of whatever you're doing just like you would as a normal paper planner so having said that let's just jump into the video and create ourselves our very own digital planner now canva is an amazing website where you can create hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs logo designs flyers pinterest pins videos facebook posts anything you want you can come over here and you can design it and it's absolutely free you can subscribe to their pro plan and it'll give you much more access but if you're just using it you know on a for something small that's something that really doesn't matter then you of course you can use it as a then of course you can you know use the free one and it doesn't really matter so over here if we search for let's say planner over here you know over here we will have two options a bigger planner and a smaller one uh, 8.5 multiplied by 11 inches or a 21 multiplied by 29 it depends on you i'm going to choose the smaller one because i think that will would be a much better one and over here we have a bunch of different templates to choose from over here you can uh, create however you want to it all depends on you uh, doesn't really matter you know you can create whatever you want so if you want you can go ahead and choose a template already over here but if you wanted to create your own then what you can do is simply click on create a blank paper over here and create yourself your own planner so over here this is how it looks like right so again we have a bunch of different options over here but we don't want all of that we're going to go ahead and create our very own planner so what we'll do is we'll go into elements over here and over here we'll just simply pick out a bunch of different shapes like the square one over here but i don't want the square one so we could go with an animation one you know we can rise it up and make it a little bit animated but i don't think an animated uh planner is good so we'll go into shape we'll change the shape i want it to be you know have round corners can i have that i don't think i can but whatever we'll just go with this for now and let's go with this one over here let's put this over here you know something like this we can color it out we can change the color to something much more you know uh lighter color like this one and over here we can type in whatever we want let's say something like to do list over here we can add that over here and we'll put this right in here the planner and then we'll just increase the size of this over here you know let me just put this over here there we go now that looks much better let's go ahead and change the fonts a little bit we can change a different font like this one over here i feel like this would look good we'll go with that one and then what we can do is we want to add some more shapes all right so we want to add like lines over here so let's go ahead and add some lines um like this one over here let's go ahead and put this you know extend it over here extend the line oh that looks nice next we just copy it and paste it a bunch of different times and then we just you know align all of them together put them over here and like so and maybe what you can do is you can maybe like you know copy all of them over here and select all of them and over here click on position and just simply go with center align and vertically and here we go that looks much better you know now that it's tidied up a little bit looks much much better so maybe we could go with a little bit more we could go into position and tidy them up a little bit let me just actually copy this one and paste three more i think three more would look nice we'll go into position and click on tidy up there we go now it looks much much better now we'll just move this location back to where it was and now we have this page let's go ahead and group it together there we go now we have our own page now we can just put it wherever we want i want to put it over here i feel like it look good over here we can also increase it but i think a not i will just keep it like this over here now what we can do is maybe we can add some more over here um where did it go we can also add some effects to it i want to add like a shadow effect over here um like this one no that's only for the text one don't want it what about here i wanted some effects to this one as well i guess we can't for now we'll just leave it at that next add another 
you know a square i'm gonna put it over here increase the size of it a little bit and over here i'm gonna type let's say um over here i'm gonna write something let me just zoom in a little bit over here i'm simply gonna write let's say goals for today and over here we can add a bunch of different goals for this one i'll change the color up a little bit maybe like more go ahead with a little bit purple but you know with a lighter purple i would say so it's something like lavender yeah that looks much nicer and over here what we can do is just increase the size a little bit yeah that looks much nicer there you go next we can again add some lines but with this one i want to add different lines this time i want to add like something like this and then maybe another one and another one like three lines three goals for one day i think is enough right next we'll just go into position and click on tidy up there we go looks really nice looks really cool yeah actually why don't why not i'll put that over there at the top yeah i think that it'll look much better if i put that over there now that that's done next we can do is let me just zoom out a little bit we can also do another one over here where did it go so over here i just uh, added a little bit of something you know i added some clouds over here like this one um let me just go ahead and put it over here let me just make the transparency a little bit over here there we go that looks nice maybe like move it a little bit backwards over there next i added some more over here and this color as well over here i'm just simply gonna write notes over here at the bottom and i'm just simply gonna move this up over here i'm gonna increase the size of it i'm gonna put that over there you know right about there and i'm gonna put these two dots over there as well that that looks nice we have our notes and over here we can add something you know uh, uh let's say appointments we can add another block over here and we can call this block um appointments urgent maybe something like this one we can add another block over here copy and paste it another block over here something like that and we can go with this one and we can add like this one over here we can say let me just equal that okay now that everything looks perfect thing looks equal let me just put this up a little bit yeah i think that looks no that yeah, looks nice all right now that that looks good we'll just put in another text and we'll call this one let's say appointments over here and we'll increase the size of that one as well we'll put that right over here in the center there we go and next another one we'll write i would say over here um urgent something like that you know for urgent uh, meetings or whatever anything can be written over here so over here i'll just add some points i would say like a dot or something you know make it go black once you go black you don't come back all right i think that looks good we can add anything over here what we want everything looks good now let's go ahead and add a background color as well you know like a square over here and i'll just simply put that over here send in the backwards over here and this time i'm simply gonna color it out or whatever you want like a simple gray color and i'll just fill it up actually everything else will look dull but i think it looks okay we'll manage something yeah send it to backwards here we go now over here i actually you know forgot the transparency over here let's go with this one again the transparency looks really dull let me just increase that looks really good next what we can do is maybe like change the color of the text to white or we could just you know pull it down over here i think that looks also very nice i'll just put this one over here and this one over here i think that looks nice and next we could put this one at the bottom and this one over here as well i think that looks much nicer next we'll just put the cloud back where it was over here and maybe also change the background color a little bit you know something that's hip-hop type you know like something like this like dark purple i think that looks really nice so actually let's go with that one and once everything is done everything looks good you can just go ahead and you know use it you can enter in your daily notes over here like at, at the top maybe over here if we let me just go ahead and actually maybe something like this one over here and maybe we can put this over here at the top and we can call it daily planner yeah i think that looks nice we could put something a little colorish over here and we'll put it in the center daily planner and now we just as i said before we'll just add in a color um yeah something like that no it 
maybe if we go with a different color like yellow does yellow look good or green actually the blue looks really nice but i think yellow looks really nice so we'll go with yellow yeah i think the yellow next lines next we can just simply you know just add more pages and do the exact same thing like copy it and paste it over here and then just export it as a pdf and boom we have ourselves a planner so that's how you create a digital planner guys so it's pretty simple really easy so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye